How do you choose a builder? The first thing that most people do is they go online and do some research. Try to kind of narrow down the number of builders that you want to meet with. When it gets to about maybe two to three builders, it's actually a good idea to go and interview each individual builder. Ask them questions about their process, see what it's like working with them. Maybe get a chance to visit their houses as well to really look at their construction and their quality of workmanship. You also want to ask about their experience, what the timeline is, what the process is going to be like. This is something we love to do with our clients and helping them make sure that they find the right builder that's going to help them through the process and building their dream home. The other thing is the lot. Sometimes the lot, the builder is chosen by the fact that they own the lot or what lot can be built by what builder. There are restrictions sometimes as to who can build on different lots. So sometimes that's a place where we start. The other thing, like I said, is when you're doing some research online, maybe you find a floor plan that you really like and it's done by a builder and when you interview them, they seem like a great person to work with, everything checks off. So that can also be how you choose your builder. I think it's important the ease of working with them. You're gonna have a long relationship together. There's going to be things that come up, problems, issues, and just making sure that you feel comfortable that this is someone that if a problem arises, you're gonna be able to work through it. And the other thing is I really believe in working with an agent to help point out the differences and maybe have that outsider opinion of someone who's experienced and some things that they can see that are kind of perceived to be normal in the process or something that seems kind of off. One of the biggest things that people uh, say a lot of times about building is that it may not close on time, everything doesn't get done, uh, the money isn't what they expected as far as what they were told in the beginning, and a lot of times I think this is where we can come in and point out some of those kind of holes or gaps when we see them, just to make sure that you identify and end up working with the right builder to build your dream home.